Welcome back to the series on the Google Ad Grant. In this video, we will be setting up conversion tracking in Google Ads. And so we're going to be backtracking just a little bit, changing some final settings. But uh, congratulations on getting your landing page set up in the last video. And we are almost there. That was a big step. So uh, welcome back and let's get moving. For those of you who are just finding this video on YouTube, we are going through the entire setup process to get your nonprofit, the $10,000 a month Google ad grant. Um, and if this is something you want to start from the beginning, you are welcome to click the link just below the video and uh, join us here on the Google ad grant, the ultimate guide where we have pictures and uh, step-by-step layouts and all of these videos in order to help you get that very simply. Okay, as we get moving, we will move over to uh, the Google Ads, uh, the Google Ads program again, and we are going to set up conversion tracking. And I just want to uh, give you a quick review of what we've done so far, so you can just kind of do a little mental checklist, and then we're going to move on. Uh, the first thing that we have done is we have set up a church, or excuse me, we have set up one advertising campaign, and that's the Church Near Me campaign that you can see on the screen. Next thing that we did was we set up two ad groups. And so in order to get approved for the Google grant, uh, you will need one advertising campaign and two ad groups. Now we added the keywords to those. Um, we've done ads in those and all of that is finished. We then went in and we made one landing page and that's what we did in the last video. You will ideally um, want to make one landing page for each ad group. Now there are circumstances actually like this one where you could use one landing page because the search terms are so incredibly similar, there just wouldn't be any differences on the landing page um, that the user would expect. But you can even still make those different landing pages for each ad group just to see which one's more effective. And so um, if you have the time, I would encourage you to go ahead and make one landing page for each ad group and then Continuing on from the landing pages that we made, um, we are going to implement conversion tracking in this video where we put a little piece of code. Uh, don't feel overwhelmed. We are going to make it as simple as possible, but we are going to put just a little piece of code that is generated for you on those thank you pages so that we are told uh, when someone goes through your landing page and has signed up. To do this, we will go to tools, we're going to click on tools. We're getting into it. And then we're going to click conversions. Now that uh, this page is loaded, you can see that uh, this is where we're going to add a conversion. So we're going to push plus conversion. And this screen is actually a little bit different than it was even a week ago. Um, but nevertheless, we will click this. But before we do, I just want to do a little side note while we're on this page. Um, and I will probably put this at the top of our Google Ad Grant, the ultimate guide as well as a reminder to you, um, this red banner at the top of the page, your account isn't active to activate your account, start running your ads, enter your billing information. Um, do not listen to this banner. This applies to everyone setting up a Google Ads account except Ad Grants accounts, which is you know, if you're following along with this course, then that is you. So do not put this information in. If you put this information in, um, you will not be able to open up a Google advertising account. And we also covered that um, earlier in the course, as far as the billing information goes, when we were talking about actually opening account the correct way. So um, ignore that banner. I know it's red and I know it can kind of seem scary, um, but I assure you, we do not want to put that in. So continuing on then, we're going to go to conversions and add a conversion. We're going to click the little button. Now, as we move into conversions, our conversion is probably going to be on our website. And the way we will do this right now is the most simple possible way to um, make a conversion. And that will be where the conversion tag, the little piece of code is fired on the thank you page. And there are a couple ways we can do this, but for simplicity's sake, this is how we will do it. So we're going to do website because we are having traffic go through to the website. And now this here, you know, it's going to vary depending on what you're looking for. If it's a purchase that the person's going to look for, um, you know, if you're just wanting them to see a page personally, you know, I don't think this is really useful at all because 
if they clicked on the ad, I know they went through to the page. So that's not helpful for me. I want to know when they do something. And so for instance, in this uh, new church, Katy, Texas, where we just set up this landing page, I want to know when someone signs up. Um, and this is very similar to becoming a lead. But for this case, we're going to do sign up. And I would encourage you if you're having someone sign up to your email list to do sign up as well. And again, we're doing this as the most simple way possible. Then we're going to name our conversion. Okay, so I have just named this radius LP conversion. And so what that means is this is a radius. We uh, I will be setting up both of these um, these ad groups to convert on a radius around the church. Because as you remember, it's church near me, um, churches, Katy, Texas. And so there's two ad groups there and I will have them both showing ads on a radius. So this will kind of remind me, okay, these are my local radius targeting ads and landing page conversion just says when I build out more landing pages for this church, this specifically is going to be the pages that relate to radius. So as we continue, we will use the same value uh, for each one. You know, every person that puts their name on the email list is going to be of the same value. Now, um, this could be different for people, you know, with a store where they sell products of different values, say on a Shopify platform. Um, and if that's the case, then you may want to look into other options. But for the vast majority of nonprofits, it's just going to be um, the same value. Okay, select how many conversions we want to count per click or interaction. Now, here's where I would suggest, I would say we want to do one and not every. And the difference here is, suppose I go to your nonprofit's website and you've just set up the system and I fill out your form three times and my name goes in three times. I don't want, you know, you don't want a conversion to be counted for me doing it three times because that's not actually helpful for you. Um, I'm just kind of bogging down the system. So count one, and this will give you one conversion per person who goes through your system, your funnel, so to speak. Um, so do that. And now we are going to, we can leave all of this and we're going to create and continue. And now what we will do as we see this page tag set up, we will install the tag yourself. So as this pulls up, you will begin to see a little bit of code and I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. Um, before a lot of website hosting platforms started cropping up uh, and not really requiring people to know coding anymore, um, this would go in the actual code of your website. And that may be the case uh, for some, uh, it may be the case for you. However, the majority of people with a website on Wix or Weebly or um, just any, I mean, any of the major websites now are going to just have a little space to plug this in. And so all we will do is this exact thing. So I'm going to copy this. I want to make sure that it says the global site tag isn't installed on your HTML pages. And then we will go over and I will click my new church landing page. We're going to load it. Now we will go into settings. Once we're in settings, we want to go to HTML, CSS, and this is just the name of the coding languages, which you don't need to know. And once that this little section has popped up, remember it said, put it in the head head area of the site. And so you'll see this is the head right here. That means it's going in the header of the website and you are going to cut, you are going to control and excuse me, you're going to copy and paste this into your website. And you'll see it's just exactly like it was um, on the page before and that's all you're going to do now you're going to take this leave it there and uh, we are going to i'm going to open one more tab here and we're going to do it for the landing page or the thank you page as well so that is next so i'm clicking here on the thank you page Okay, so we now have the actual landing page pulled up and again we're just going to settings html css and now this is if you're in um instapage if you are in your uh, you know in a different uh web hosting program wix weebly uh, wordpress this is going to be done somewhere else but usually now they have a space designated for this just like you see here um and so well, this was not supposed to pop up let's try one more time here i'm gonna go back to this i'm gonna make sure i have it copied correctly
and we will go back in here and paste it. There we go. And go back up top. And you can remove these spaces if you want. Just make sure you don't remove any code. I kind of like things neat. Um, and again, we'll back out. And now I have the, let's switch around here. I have the actual landing page here and I have the um, thank you page here. And now, so this is the first part. We have just taken this global site tag and we have dropped it in um, on both of those pages that we made. Now this global site tag will fire on the idea is uh, it gets global, so it fires on every page of the website. And so if you actually have a website that you've built your landing page into, there will probably just be one location for the global site tag, and they will register it on all of your pages. And so the idea is um, the global site tag tracks how many people are on your site at all times. And then down here you have, and this is what we'll do, It's we're going to have it fire on page load, not click. And so every time we're going to copy this and we are only going to put this um, event snippet is what it's called. Uh, and it, it registers an event and the event we want it to register is um, our land or excuse me, our thank you page. So only when someone goes all the way through our landing page, do we want to register this event? So they've filled out, they've given us all their information. They've clicked submit save my seat and they come here that is when we want to know that they have arrived on this page and that tells us that we have someone who has converted we have a new email and that is how we will begin to factor some numbers in google ads that we can look at um, and let's double check here okay yes and so just double checking again we will put this between the head head and so we're going to come right in here and make sure this is our thank you page. It says it at the top. So I'm going to click on HTML, CSS. Now this is the global tag we put in earlier. Then we will scroll to the bottom and underneath the global site tag, maybe give ourselves one space and just paste in that event snippet. And that tracks our conversions and that only goes on the landing page. Hit the back button on the top left hand corner and we will save that page. And then we will come over to our landing page as well and save this one. So we have two pages, both of them are saved. And the next thing we will do is click next at the bottom in the Google ads um, setup here. And so it says you've set up your radius LP conversion, uh, conversion act on uh, auto trigger was enabled. So we're going to click done. And there you have it. You have fully set up a conversion event in Google ads to your landing page, your thank you page. As we have put that information in there, it says right here, you can see conversion actions and we can see radius LP conversion. That's the one we just set up and we can see it's a sign up. Now, what I want you to take notice of on this page, it says unverified. It can also say no recent conversions. It can also say recording conversions. What we would like to see is recording conversions. Um, we could at least see no recent conversions and that means that it's working um, in theory, but we want to definitely see no recent conversions, but recording conversions if possible. So it's important that we test to make sure our conversions are working properly. And we will do that in the next video. Uh, for now, th there's only one more setting that we should set up uh, as we get things moving and I'm going to go back into our advertising campaigns. I will click on all campaigns here to see them kind of branch out. Okay. And so, uh, when my home page has loaded, I'm going to select the campaign and I'm going to come over here. I'm going to come to settings. When we created our campaigns and ad groups, I said we were going to come back in and change our conversion settings from clicks at $2 and we're going to switch them over to conversions. Um, and so as you can see, settings is loading. Now I want both of these to be tracking conversions instead of uh, just clicks. And so I'm gonna select the campaign that is above both ad groups because I want the settings for both. I'm gonna click on the advanced options and I will come right here and you can see bidding. Um, and we will come in and I am going to click change bid strategy. And so that's going to change it away from clicks uh, because the Google ad grant requires that we track conversions 
um, so that we're making the most of this grant money. Now, once we see this come up, I'm just gonna move myself again, we are gonna change it from clicks to conversions, and we now have conversions set up. And we are going to, uh, let's see, okay, we don't need to worry about that right now. And so we will just, we have set it to conversions, and so we will click save. Wonderful. And that's it. Great job. Um, we are almost there. We're on the home stretch to clicking that enroll button. And I look forward to seeing you in the very next video.